Uh oh. Okay, we're good. I <laughs> thought it froze. I think we should run for it. But if he is, he might call for backup to chase us. Maybe we should call his bluff. Time to uh call his bluff, I guess. That really took me out. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Like the the yellow signals pointing somewhere else. Okay, time time to go to the other one if I can. Gotta turn right here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to escape him. Keep going. Keep going. I don't know where the signal's going to take me. Slightly worries me. Because I have like five seconds. He going to get me. He got me. Corpsec officers about everything we know, including your boss. But we don't want to be arrested. This is bad. Quiet, Camus. If they wanted to arrest us, they wouldn't be talking. I don't think this is really Corpsec. Something is off. Don't start a battle with me, girl. I'll make it into a war. Either arrest us or let us go. Drop this. Drop that android. Get yourself out of this mess while you can. I won't. Uh, I, I'm just going to the next thing. I, I couldn't escape his signal. He has disconnected. Let's get moving, Camus. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Camus, where is this nav point taking us? The Alexa Theater. Maybe Peter lives in an apartment above it? Clerk in the lobby. Yeah, that would be my guess. Peter would be working the popcorn stand, mixing up the hottest flavors. Caramel and anchovy with cinnamon protein flakes. Ready for the next screening of some piece of trash anti-android prop films. Cyborgs Ate My Babies 3. Is that a real movie? Yes. I saw it advertised on a poster. Gross. We are getting a message. It is from Control. Put him through. He is not on comm, it's just a text message. He says that Corpsec networks are down all over the city. There's a Corpsec security point between here and the Alexa Theater, but if we go on foot, we might be able to get through. I'm not sure Corpsec really are looking for us. I think it was just that one guy trying to scare us off. Agent Rio? Yeah. You're okay to go on your own, Huxley, right? We can drop you at the security point? In a simple world, that would be the plan. But this was a complicated city. Security points like that one couldn't be crossed by an android without a human to accompany them. What? Why? I know why. On the holovids, they said something about an android virus. Humans are worried that the androids are going crazy in this zone. That sounds like crazy propaganda. Who would believe that? The dame didn't know her history. Truth is, that neighborhood was never the friendliest for rust buckets like me to begin with. Back in 69, the riots hit the district hard. Alexa Theater was ground zero. I'll come through with you then. If the security points are down, they shouldn't have any reason to stop us. But just be cool, Huxley. Try to speak like... Actually, just try to be completely silent once we're there. Can you do that? I'm impressed. Okay. Peter Unthrink. Food mood. All right. Well, this doesn't seem like the uh, right way around, but I'm hoping it is. It is not. It has been blocked off by something on fire. This looks like fake grass. Never mind. Those are the those are the gang members that we've talked to before. 
All right. The merchant on the left. I don't think we need to buy anything, and I don't really have anything to sell. I do, however, have things to buy. Hello. Ow, bitch. Good evening, ma'am. We've got a problem with our system right now. I'm gonna have to ask you to be patient while I manually read through your record. We can't contact HQ right now. No problem. Is your android friend all right? Does he speak? Oh no, he's mute. He's always been mute. He doesn't have any recent issues with speech or anything. He's been behaving very normally. So, problems with your system, huh? That must be a bummer. That's the weird thing. It's not the system itself. It's the agents working the security posts. I swear, if we had unions, we'd be on strike. They got us working hours so long, half the agents are like zombies. So, we clear to go ahead, or...? Then we got all these reports of androids going nuts. Turns out, there ain't no evidence that it's the androids at all. We got failed neural augments sparking paranoia. They should be locking up the humans. What's causing all this? Who knows? My old man says the city AI has a virus and it's infected us all. The humans, the androids, the programs controlling sanitation, traffic, everything. Do you believe that? Sure. But he also says they put mind control drugs in the toothpaste, and I'm gonna be a rich corpse CEO before I'm 30, so... Can we go? What's that? Oh, sure, uh, whatever. Uh, get going. And don't let your android buddy out of your sight. It's not safe for his kind in his zone. That was easy. Yay. Dialogue. Alright, before we go into this theater, I'm gonna collect all the things I can. As I know, I'm going to have another conversation with Evelyn about the rest of the punch cards. Whether I find them or not is completely up to me. Yay. I have control here. Alright, another flyer. Something else to pick up. Mixing popcorns with all of the best flavors. Honey and anchovy. I think that's what he said. Something, something, anchovy. Yeah, this place doesn't scream end of the game. Well, it does scream the beginning of zombies, but... Hi, do you work here? We're looking for a guy called... What the hell are you doing here? You're gonna get us both killed, Huxley! So, this was the client. I pictured a hard-working man in a cheap suit, but instead, I was looking at a greasy-looking... Shut your mouth! You got some nerve coming into this neighborhood and speaking to me like that, Huxley. Look, we just want to help you find your daughter. Shit. Look, this is all a hustle, and it's way out of my league. She ain't really my daughter. Who paid you to say she was? If I tell you that, you're as dead as I am. I've been driving all over the city trying to find this girl. I'm not giving up on this now. Just tell me where I can find her, okay? Just forget her. She's probably fine. The way his voice shook, we all knew he was lying. It's the memory chip in her head they need. It's not about the girl. No one cares about the girl. Huxley does. Just let him do his job. Rio. That's all I can say. Talk to Rio. Wait, the corpse agent? He just threatened us. Before you talk to me? Hey, that's great. That means he won't know we talked. Or he thinks I talked already. Shit. Just get out of here, will you already? We should go, Huxley. <laughs> this is getting dangerous. It would get more dangerous, but I had to stick around. It's not safe here, Huxley. It was too late for me. The security checkpoints would be up again. I'd be caught if I went through. Besides, I had some leads I wanted to follow here. Damn it. Well, call me if you need me again, Huxley. I'll see you around. Oh, he will call. Oh, yes. He will call. I won't. He will. I don't like making phone calls too often. Sometimes I do. Hey, would you look at that? I don't think this took me where I wanted to go, but it took me somewhere. 
I was hoping it was just a quick way back. But as usual, I was wrong. Maybe. Maybe it was quick. I mean, it got me close. The only thing I could have done back there is buy drugs, which is fun, but not something I was going to do. All right. So, let's take the punch cards back to Evelyn after we go to a garage and deal with some, uh, yeah, there we go. Dialogue. Sounds so reassuring, Control. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is safe. Communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So I'm a taxi now. Like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance? Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. You know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So you don't know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hopper. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find, but make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. So at least one rich asshole. Uh, maybe two, just to be safe. Great. So, how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive, dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside the quarantine zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Yeah, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? Don't sweat it, kid. The night is almost half done. When's your shift end, Control? My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. He's an AI. Alright, fix the yeah. <laughs> I have done a lot of damage. Alright. Eh, that's not what I want to do. But it is what I have done. I wish there was a meter that would tell me how, uh, how much damage until it's dead. Because I feel like I could just damage it forever. I know I can't, but I sometimes I just feel like I can. So I just have to keep in the back of my mind, oh hey, I keep fucking it up. Or, hey, these people keep, uh not obeying the traffic laws. I'll include myself in that one, but I just don't want to. And this has been my TED Talk. I don't <laughs> accept or expect responsibility. 